bases for the Longhorns as well. Three aces, and it's only the second set. Three aces is, I think, her, her career high, yeah. so we'll see if she can overcome that today. Had three on Friday and three in the win at LSU. A whistle. And Georgia gets the point. A net violation there by Ames. Oh, no. All right, guys. Don't touch the net. Oh, I heard that music. His name was Fireball. Like my Temple University Diamond Marching Band and I had played. Swindle sets up Rutherford. Great effort by Brower, but the point goes to the Longhorns. And Rutherford with her first kill of the day. Sometimes she's a little quiet to start the match, but she always comes alive. She's an experienced player, done so much for this team so far this season. So we're definitely going to see some more of her on the offensive side. And over a thousand career kills. Third team All American the last two seasons at Kentucky before transferring to Austin. That's long off Lovett and another Texas point. So much power from Lovett there. She came in swinging and just missed the block and hit it a little bit far out of bounds. When is second on the team, and aces will serve. Point Georgia, and that's Lovett again. And Lovett is doing doing it all right now. Such a great player and. I love how she's continuing to take swings even after making errors sometimes. And that ball was dug and she's still up there ready to take a big swing of the net. That's wide off Ames. Point Georgia. The Texas side thinks there might be a touch there, but I don't think Jared Elliott saw it at all. Not pressing his luck on this one after winning his first two challenges. Cox to serve again. Just out. And Muneke looks back at the bench. And in fact, Tom Black We're in lead by eight. To the challenge card. Now is a challenge. Who is who challenged it? Oh, come on. By George. So. so we get another review here at Gregory. Why would why 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 would he say that? Our goal is to win this game and make a comeback. Ames and Skinner the block. Hard to tell from that angle. Oh wow, they think it's a touch, huh? We could be looking at Ames' left hand. I don't think that means successful, isn't it? Let's see what the call is. Just joining us, Georgia, with a one set to none lead. Texas at one point led set one twenty to ten, and the Bulldogs can storm it. All right, let's see what the team of the last eighteen points to take the set. I don't think I don't see any touch at all. It's been all Texas so far in set two. Is they really think it was. See if this angle's any better. Definitely close looking at Ames's left hand. But I don't think but we did not touch anything, did we? Mambo for one of these today, but it looked like I don't think that it did not being reversed. There was a touch on Texas, Georgia. Oh what? Both coaches doing a pretty good job from the challenge perspective. Georgia oh, God. The Here they come again, creeping back. Now just down 14 8. There's an experienced group. Cox to serve again in her fourth year as a Bulldog. Get off! Oh. Get to it and another Bulldog point. 
And this is what the Georgia team does. They slowly creep back in. They maybe didn't start the set super, super strong, but always find a rhythm in the middle of the set who challenge big teams in the SEC. 4 nothing Georgia run. Point to Rutherford. Now we're back within six. Yeah, I hope we make a comeback here. This game's pretty tough, I'm telling you. With a whole lot of court in the back. And no one didn't get it. And that's such an experienced play right there. She gets a nice touch on the block. Realizes that the Georgia defense is in shallow covering their hitter and just puts it right there deep in the court where no one is. Great touch and just puts it back. No one's there. Service error for Halter. And it's 16-10. Georgia came back from much more of a deficit last set, so they're used to being in these moments. They're they're very calm. They seem calm, they seem ready. They had their leader, Sophie Fisher, out on the court. Yeah, they may have played the most sets of any team in the nation. <laughs> Just two of their 16 matches coming in have gone the minimum three. Skinner with as much power as we've seen from her this set. Right, there is the power of Skinner. That's, what, that's the one thing that makes her so great. Her all-around game is incredible, but she just has so much power at the net. She can really elevate over the block and overpower anyone on the other side of the net. Jared Elliott often gets asked, when are you going to play... Maddie Skinner six rotations. He says, I don't think we need to at this point. We've had such good balance. It's good to give Skinner a break now and then. Carlson sets up Skinner. Winnis keeps the point alive. Skinner makes it over the net. Dick Carlson. Blocked. Point to love it. And didn't even swing, went in on the, on the way. It was out. Nice big swing for their patient. That's just such a great swing by Lovett being getting up and elevating right through that block. Single turn just a little bit late there. Tenth kill for Lovett on 18 swings. Blocked. Fisher was there. And that's Kaya Tyson coming in as a blocking sub. Brower just on the smaller side as a setter, so Tyson comes in sometimes to block and really pays off there. That's wide off Love It. Skinner back to serve already with two aces in this game. So see if she can get in a run here for Texas and really pull away from this Georgia team. Oh, that was tough. What? Oh, witness keeps the point alive. Kahahawai, love at the dig. To keep it alive. Oh, man. Ball sails over Winnis. They're back within six now. Setter is still going to be able to set her the ball. 
a connoisseur. Oh. Haugen, the dig, fight at the net. Haugen feeds Maneke. Carlson gets it over the net, and then Ames is there for the Longhorns. What a point. And somehow it goes wow. to the freshman. What an interesting point there. I love the very interesting series of events, but definitely went in the Longhorns' favor, and Ames is just so good at staying engaged and just getting over the net right there. Neke, another point for Georgia, her fifth. Such a great job challenging the block. She has a huge block in front of her in Ames, just got blocked by Ames, and still going right through her and powering through the block. Free ball leads to the point, and Maneki's there once again. I'm not sure who hit that ball between the two of them, <laughs> but definitely worked in their favor. Georgia has at set one in a 15-3 run. If they do something similar in set two, that won't help. Error by Brower. <laughs> and one reason Georgia was able to go on a run in the first set and come back and win is because they eliminated the errors at the end of the set. And I think that's what they need to focus in on right now if they want to come back in set two. Kahahawai serves for Texas. Into the net. Rutherford and Swindle check in. Carlson and Kahahawai out. Maneke serves. Oh, Cox, great job to keep the point alive. Kind of the set this time. Love it. Gets the point. And so much rage from Love It there going down the line. Just able to go right past the block. And what a dig. Just getting using her body to her advantage. CC Goose stepping into set. But using that little sliver of line to her advantage. Serve hits the net, and Georgia's going to get the point as Halter, a great effort, but rolled onto the or into the other side of the court. And here comes Georgia again. They're within four, and Jared Elliott calls timeout. Definitely now we do have a timeout. Right now, knows that Georgia can come back, is capable of doing that. So uh, give this team a little bit of wow. a breather. Now we have a timeout.